Hi, welcome back to Sweetola Kitchen. Today, let's make pap, ogi, akamu, depending on the on how you call it. So I'm going to start by removing the dates. As you can see, there are some dates inside. Then I'm going to pour it back into a very big bowl. And now I'm going to add water to soak the dried corn. This is how it looks like the second day. And I'm going to discard this water and add another one. This is to avoid bad smell in our pap. So I discard this. Then I'm going to add another water and that is how i'm going to do it till the third day all right you can also use your white corn i just like yellow corn for my pap so till the third day i will just rinse it off the next day then take it to commercial grinder so after blending now, I'm going to add my cheese clothes to cover this bowl to sieve the pap, that is to separate the shaft from the pap. So I start, I scoop my, my desired quantity into this cheese clothes, then I start to sieve. Okay. This is how I'm going to do it until when the um, pap is separated from the shaft here. So now this is shaft. So I'm going to remove the shaft from this cheese clothes. As you can see, there is no pop in it again. Then I remove the shaft now and add another bash to it. That's how I'm going to separate the shaft from the pop until all the pop in that bowl is finished so now i'm going to strain for the second time so we are looking for a very smooth pap so and the second time i'm not using cheese clothes i'm using this my strainer so we just have uh, just little amount of shave now. So after this round, then I'm going to leave it to settle down till the next day. If you do it in the morning, you can leave it till evening or night. Or just like 8 to 10 hours, I think everything will be separate. The water will be separated from the pap. And now I'm going to scoop out, after the water has been separated from the pap, I'm going to scoop little amount of pap into this bowl, then mix it with 
room temperature water, not cold water and not hot, just to mix my pap into my desired consistency, not too running and not thick. I have my uh, water boiling already. Then after mixing thoroughly, I will just add my boiled water into the pap. So, okay. And the amount of water you add this depend on how thick or light you want your pap to be. This is the consistency that I want. All right, it's not too thick. So at this stage, you can add any sweetener of your choice. For me, I'm using white sugar. But just more quantity. Okay, this amount is okay for me. But if you are a sugar lover, no problem, you can add more. To my amazing subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. And if you are coming across my video for the first time, please ensure you subscribe. And let me give it a good taste, okay? I think it's okay now. And I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.